Hey guys, today we got an interesting video. This was actually gonna be another video and the video is gonna be called why I set goals every year even though I may not accomplish them all. But then I like realized I was like, well, if I have a goal, it's going to be accomplished if that's really like a goal for me. Like if, it, if it's really something that I want, then it's gonna happen for me. So it didn't make any sense for me to say that I set goals even though I may not accomplish them when I get everything that I want. I just have one question. Can we just stop acting like there's like some correct way to manifest? I'm tired of like, whenever I like, I don't know. Cause like sometimes I do want to watch like manifestation videos and it's not just cause I want to learn how to manifest. I know how to manifest. I just like hearing people talk about like manifestation. And it's like motivating. I don't know, especially with like spirituality type videos. I, I like to, look up those kinds of videos and I like to watch them just because it's like it's nice to f listen to like it's nice to listen to if I'm like cleaning or something or just like doing my hair doing my makeup like I always like to have something playing in the background manifestation or just like a favorite vlogger or something or talking about like how to make money get more streams of income stuff like that when you look that stuff up you also see stuff like this is how you manifest this is exactly how you manifest step by step three two one method five five two two six seven eight nine ten you have to do this, this, and this. How to manifest for beginners. What you need to manifest. Like, Ooh, who, said that? Who, said that? who said that was the correct way to manifest? I know it's not like a, oh my God, this is exactly how you have to do it or you're not gonna get anything. It's not like that. And I know that's probably like not anybody's intention. I know when I first like got into, I don't even know what to call it. Not even like manifestation or like spirituality. Cause like, I'm really just dipping my toes in the water. Like, I don't even know what's going on, but I know it's good but i don't i don't like when something's like super strict like that and i feel like i have to do certain things in order for in order to get like a certain result you don't need a journal you don't need crystals you don't need to do yoga uh, meditation is really nice i feel like you do meditation without even knowing but you don't need to like you know sit on the floor close your eyes you don't need to walk outside don't need to talk to god some people say like oh you have to do like affirmations and stuff do what you feel is gonna help you manifest it's good to try things out but please do not do all the extra stuff that people be saying especially if you know you really don't want to do it that's gonna be the main reason that you don't get into manifestation or you find that you're not able to manifest anything because you're not actually manifesting you're just doing what somebody said i i'm pretty sure i mentioned it on my channel like months ago but i tried to get into shadow work journaling and it just i don't even know why i was doing it like i thought it was gonna help me it just didn't I didn't like it. I was like forcing myself to like do it because I thought it was gonna like, I don't know. This is just gonna be a rant video. I didn't have a script for this video. Like this is all just coming straight from the dome. And I wish I could like speak with like, speak like people like Trinity. She speaks, like you can tell she's very, she's also a poet, so that makes sense. She's very like articulate with her words. I don't know if that's the right word, but she like sounds like she knows what she's talking about. She actually knows what she's talking about. I know what I'm talking about, but I don't, be sounding like I know what I'm talking about all the time. I really wish I could like use like more words. The definition of manifesting or manifestation is all about using your thought patterns, mindset, and self-beliefs to attract what you want most. Your thoughts and beliefs have to immense power to shape your reality. If you have a negative outlook or focus on the obstacles, the way you think can hold you back. And I agree. It did not say anything about you having to journal or like it's literally the way you think and like the way that you talk to yourself and like whether you believe you can get something it just comes down to like your brain people don't talk about how much you have to do physically if you're trying to manifest a car you can't just say oh, i really really want a car um you have to get to work <laughs> that's one of like my biggest pet peeves is when people are like I, I manifested this Lamborghini. All I did was like write my journal every single day. No, bro, like that's not. Manifesting is me saying, and we're gonna use a real example. I'm going to have a Jeep and I've been working for a Jeep and I'm attracting a Jeep because I actually want the Jeep. Oh, I'm gonna get my, I'm gonna have a Jeep. I have a Jeep, period, like that's it. I'm going to have a Jeep. I own a Jeep, just not at this moment, like, the Jeep's already in my possession. I just literally don't physically have it. It's different when you're like just expecting something to come out of thin air. Like I feel like there's just a there's a few people that still like think that's how manifestation works. Like you're just gonna say something and then it just 
comes into your life like we gotta be more specific like you gotta be a little bit more realistic because i feel people think that like manifestation is like magic or something like it's not magic it's just basically you just working for what you want and believing that you can have whatever you want if i was like oh i really want a g but I don't know if I can get it. I'm not gonna get it if I really don't think I'm gonna get it. If you're like, oh, I don't know if I'm gonna graduate high school. Like, this work is so hard. Like, I might fail. You probably gonna fail if you keep thinking that you gonna fail. Like, and that's not me bashing people that journal because I journal and I have crystals, but I don't need crystals. I actually just got them. My friend Omar and I, we went and got crystals and I love my crystals. Spirituality in general, like, like I said, I'm I'm dipping my toes in the water with like everything that I'm talking about, like in the realm of like manifestation and like spirituality and like self being and soul. I don't know much about it. I'm not gonna like try to act like I know much about it. You can see like all of this is like a big trend now and it's almost like a game to some people or like just like a, just a trend, you know? I feel like now people like or wanting to get into spirituality they feel like they have to do certain things to be a spiritual person and it's like you can literally be a spiritual person and just be a spiritual person like you don't have to look a certain way you don't have to have certain things you don't have to do certain things every single day you don't have to have like this set routine that spiritual people do because there's not a thing that spiritual people do it's literally different for every single person and it's a different thing for everybody there's no steps to it the main reason i really wanted to make this video is because i feel like i used to think all of that stuff like i used to think that i had to do like certain things but let me tell y'all about like three days ago because guys i'm moving out of this place i'm not gonna be here and you guys already know about that i made like a video on that and all that stuff i was literally like having a meltdown because i was told i'm not gonna be leaving this place i'm a sensitive person i just want y'all to know that now i don't really like seem like it like especially like online but i'm a big crybaby especially when it comes to like family and stuff but the other day i was told i was not gonna be moving out of here and i don't even know why i had such a bad reaction to that and i some like i be, i truly like at, in that moment believed it so i was like you know obviously like distraught because mm, who wants to be here i don't want to stay here you know but now that i'm looking back i'm just like girl you was doing the most because we're getting out of here and i'm going to leave regardless so even if the plan is not exactly like how i like originally thought the main focus is me moving out and that's all i know that is gonna happen i say this all the time but everything you want for yourself if you truly believe that you you're gonna have it or you like have plans and you have like goals and stuff and you have like just an idea um it, if you truly believe like it's all like going to come about it will and sometimes it's not always how you originally like thought it was gonna happen like but it happens. These are just literally like my thoughts that I have to myself like all the time. Like this is how I think and I, I really like it. I didn't always think like this, but I love that I think like this because even like when stuff happens um, and I get like stressed and cry and stuff, like I still know I'm gonna be good. I feel like I'm kind of telling y'all how to manifest for real, but this is just me talking about like how i manifest it's just the way that you're thinking i'm saying do what you want for the video that i thought i was gonna make where i was like talking about like me setting goals and stuff um i really thought that was a good idea just because like i was just gonna talk about how i like made goals for a year but i didn't accomplish them in that year i already said this but i can't say that i didn't accomplish something like it's not it's not the fact that i'm not accomplishing it it's the fact that i just didn't do it within a year time span like nobody said that i had to do something in a year i just said that to myself but that's me restricting myself to a year to accomplish all these things that i want to accomplish and like sometimes you can't do everything in a year that doesn't mean that you're not gonna do it i want to talk about how last year or so it's 2022 now and it was just 2021 so 2020 going into 2021 i'm pretty sure i set a goal for myself to have multiple streams of income last year i quit working at baskin robbins yeah i quit my job i have a video on that i quit my job and like that was my only stream of income last year is rough by the way like i don't know i didn't there was a point in the year where i like kind of like gave up on that idea and like truly didn't believe that because i was just having like a rough time like there is 
Like the year started off good, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it went downhill after my breakup. <laughs> so I said I was gonna have multiple streams of income, right? But I ended up quitting my job and then I had like no streams of income. But then I got a job at Amazon and then I got monetized on YouTube and then I got monetized on Instagram. And then I got another stream of income. My second stream of income, which was YouTube, happened literally right before 2022. I guess that means I truly did believe I can have multiple streams of income, but I was just like in a rut. So I, was, I, I guess I just wasn't like focused on it, but like it still like happened. And like, that was like a big like motivation for me. Cause I knew that was gonna happen, but I didn't know when. It was just like a, a very like wholesome moment. My YouTube channel was bound to get monetized. That's one thing. And then I was obviously gonna get another job after quitting Baskin Robbins. I just needed a, like a little break. That's what I wanted to say about manifestation. You should try things out, but don't do not do something and then like force yourself or try to force yourself to like wanna do it and like wanna like it and like just want it if that's not what you want. You'll eventually land on something that works for you. It may be something that literally not a lot of people talk about and you probably won't see on YouTube, but you know, that'll be for you to figure out. All that jibber jabber I just said is how you manifest. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Comment anything you'd like to comment. Subscribe. Join the family only if you're actually going to watch my videos. Please do not subscribe if you're not going to watch my videos. That's so annoying. Like, don't, don't, like, bruh. Stay whelmed, never overwhelmed. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next video. That's so cringy. <sighs>